Hey, how's everyone doing? I just wanted to do a bit of a. That's fine. I just wanted. To, uh, sorry, just girlfriend's playing a little bit of a video game here, so. <laughs> um, so uh, you might hear that in the background. I want to do a bit of a, kind of a video editing um, Linux showdown. Now everyone's seen um, Caden Live, and there's also Cinderella out there. Problem is, I'm not. Um, Kaden Live is for people who use like Sony Vegas, you know, the the professional level software, and I'm not very familiar with that, honestly. And same thing with uh, Cinelera, um, and so I found was trying to find other stuff that would work, and I found uh, Lives or Lives, you know, this one here, and of course uh, OpenShot. And I'm going to kind of launch both of those here real real fast, and see OpenShot opens first, and Lives is still trying to open up, so I'm gonna to try to get both of these just um, you know over here. Now, default <coughs> lives doesn't really show you much. You know, I want to kind of show how uh, how both these programs, you know, uh, import uh, clips and get everything get everything kind of working there for you. Let me here and kind of shrink this a bit. Okay, that's all the further is going to let me do it. So with uh, OpenShot, uh, to put a clip in, just click Import File. Um, I'm going to get into, say, this uh, this one, Big Brother OGV, and uh, drag it down into the uh, Track 2. I just want to put it there. And let's say immediately I want to start cutting it up, because I well, there's a few sequences I want to move around. Come up here. Oop. Uh, let me uh, expand that a bit. There we go. All right. There's uh, track one, track two, and so now I want to move this down, move this over. You know, just try to get this all going. And you can add transitions uh, real easily. Say circle in or out. You know, I want to add that. Just drag it, drop it where the transitions you want to go you know and I can put the put the playhead here and then we can preview that real quick and there's the transitions so it's all well and good you know um, and it's really good you can export there's a lot of you know export options when you go to export you can do to blu-ray you can do DVD device the web um, device select a format like target Apple TV if you wanted to um, you go with all formats and just click you know whatever you, you want to go mpeg4 xvid h264 aug you know avi it lets you kind of change it around um, web uh, you've got you know Flickr um, Picasa YouTube uh, immediately YouTube HD square NTSC to video profile and you can select the quality and even tell it where do you want to export to. So it's a pretty simple program. I close this and I pretty much like it. Um, as far as uh, you know, it's it's a very similar to iMovie, which is what I worked, what I kind of learned on uh, initially. And um, when I first had a, a Mac years and years and years ago, back in I think it was 2004. No, it was earlier than that. It's uh, 2002, 2003 when I first got a Mac. And so uh, I like it. It works well. It uh, doesn't have as, it <laughs> doesn't have any bugs as far as I've found, and uh, works just fine. And you can even do 3D titles and titling and add those in. Now, from playing with lives, first I want to uh, kind of get into uh, basically there's a multi-frame kind of uh, multi-track mode. And immediately after getting into multi-track mode, it lets you you can you know it lets you adjust the width height of the video, frames per second. So all these like professional level stuff here. I'm like, okay, cool. You know, target encoder any output format. You know, you can select the output format to whatever, um, and you click OK, and then bam, this is a it goes full screen. And every time I click on something like File or Edit or Effects or anything, it keeps going from, you know, full screen to dropping down, and it's just a pain in the ass initially. 
So <laughs> that immediately was like, what the heck? Um, so you, need, you know, if you want to open a file, you go file open, um, you know, file. I want to go to, uh, you know, video and this title sequence MPEG, I want to open it and look how long it takes to open. Please wait, 65 frames opened, you know, 70 some frames open. It's absolutely um, ridiculous. You know, this, this um, professional level program, here it is doing it again, just pissing me off. Uh, I gotta quit this program. It, to me, and I, I haven't even attempted to edit video because it's it's so slow. You know, it's slow, it's buggy, you know, it's it's absolutely just it's it's worthless in my opinion. And actually as I'm doing this, I'm going to uninstall this because I don't I don't want it on my computer anymore. It's trash. You know, uh, this is one of the one of the few um Linux programs out there that's completely and totally not worth your time. Um th there's a uh, quite a bit with um, of a community as far as like Sinalera out there and Caden Live. Um, they both have their bugs and also they're both uh, really, in my opinion, uh, um, in-depth or complicated. But, um, you know, open shots, in my, in my opinion, seems to be the, the, uh, the better uh, option for those people who are just kind of getting into novices uh, or just uh, hobbyists for getting into the basic kind of video editing. It, d it does allow you to do some other cool tracks and you can get more pro with it. But, um, you know, unless, you're, unless you've taken college classes and you've, um, you've really, you know, know your way around professional level software, you might not want to be messing with uh, Caden Live or uh, Sinalera as much. You know, but that's just my opinion. So I just want to show that uh, to everybody. You know, have a little software showdown with that, and uh, you know, uh, try it out. Get your own opinion, and uh, if you want to, you know, definitely post up a video response. You know, any video responses posted on my channel, um, automatically approved. I'm not going to uh, edit that in any way or censor it. So, you know, if you got a video response, if you you think I'm wrong, you think I'm full of crap, you know, definitely post it up. Get your uh, get your opinion out there. Get it heard. And thanks for watching, guys.